Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one, one of the greatest. Oh yeah, I respect him. Definitely. So Benji, did you ever see this day come where you would think after everything that happened that you would see a film at the Chicago Film Festival and his legacy being what it is right now? Yes, because that was the goal that I initially started. This is just the beginning. I feel within the documentary for the world to get an introduction. Right. Uh, I'm currently right now working on a major motion picture film. Uh, I hold lots of Ted Sillinger, uh, Marty Martin, and of course, Kudi and Chike for bringing this to the uh, masses now. Uh, but yes, that was part of the goal because uh, Benji is, is, is that big. You know, we all, my mom always said, keep your goals up. Right. So this is definitely uh, the beginning. It looks great being here in New York. Definitely. Definitely. How did you yeah. hook up with um, Creative Control? The guy, the director. How did you hook up with Creative Control? I've been a fan of Cooties since Chicago days of Channel Zero. Oh, you're going back to Chicago. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, wild. Chicago. Yeah, yeah, Channel, Channel Zero. Right. And I didn't know who he was. Funny to say, when I started to, as far as try, I was trying to do the movie first. Okay. And uh, a friend of mine who's in LA now, his name is Big Shoes, Devin Jones, he introduced me to him. Okay. As they say, the rest is history. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what was this process like from meeting them to Big Jones to filming this and getting all the documents done? Tell us a little bit about that process and what you have to go through. Well, uh, pretty much uh, it was more of just doing the interview. Right. And it was hard because, I mean, like I was telling Ted just not so long ago, when I talk about Benjamin, Ben, my brother, right. I go back to that child again. My voice is no longer deep. Yeah. It's, it's I, I tell you, if you were in my shoes for a, a couple of seconds, you'll see what I'm talking about. Even now, I'm like, try to stay focused, you know? Uh, but that's kind of like the, I guess you said the kryptonite for my emotion. Just talking about my brother because it transcended a lot of uh, anguish and I found my mom actually like I said died of it. Yeah, her nerves got just destroyed. As long as she was, I saw her still trying to help people. Go to meetings, getting us out of school. Uh, I was in drama class, getting me out of my brother, you know, and rushing to a community service meeting. And other parents screaming and yelling about their children being killed. My child's on drugs. The gangs came to my house last night. She's bringing that back home to us. And here we are, didn't even get up our own hurt. And here's my mom trying to help everybody else. Yeah, yeah. so I mean, to tell you something about the woman, as well as my brother, he's the same way. After a game, problem happens in the hood, he'll go up there. How to fix it. And then eventually he fixed it, trust me. He, <laughs> he fixed, fixed it. it. He fixed it. That's why it's such a hard track because he was so respected even by the gang members. Right. Because he was that kid. He was that, he was that good kid. You know, yeah. I, I mean, he was a, uh, before his time, I feel, it's hard to imagine that he was 17 years old. I remember how he taught me about oral hygiene and respecting other people. Uh, if you act a certain way, that comes back on me, and I'm going to beat you you know what. Yeah, because you were affecting on me. Exactly. Right. Definitely. Definitely. So, he was 17 years old, but he was much older. He's he was much older. Beyond his years. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of the Trayvon Martin case, man? Mm. And how this relates to Benji and... You want to know what's really funny about this? Uh, one of Benji's girlfriends, who was my god sister, ever since the tragedy happened, she adopted Anthony and I as her little brothers. Was down in Sam. And they had some signs with my brother out there. And I'm like, well, Benji wasn't a victim of what is, you know, yeah, the whole different. racial thing yeah. hurts because we weren't raised that way. My mom was, was considered to be interracial, I don't know what you want to call right. it. And yeah, we, we weren't raised that way. Right, we're all, you know, we're all from the same. But people yeah. don't look at me anyway. Yeah. Travion's middle name is Benjamin. Oh, I didn't know that. And it was like, are you serious? Like, this is crazy, you know? I'm hurt. I think all America is hurt. Right. They see the, the, I guess you could say, the little lies, deception that's yeah. went on. And we're quick to react. We want to get angry. I know yeah. the Trevion Martin our, our family is devastated. I know the Zerman family is devastated. No one loses in this. I mean, I mean, wins in this. Sorry. No one wins in this. Right. We, we all lost something. This man's going to lose his freedom. He lost a young teenage child. Right. You don't get yeah, it.
So you see, the, the fight here, nothing comes about with this. With, uh, like, what's the point?